favorite things to do is after a workout, I like to sit outside in my grandma's garden and have some apples with peanut butter. Lately, it's been my go-to for apples and peanut butter. I love peanut butter. And so I just wanted to get some sun before I shelter myself inside and paint all day. because I got back into my workout routine and stick to my workouts and the way that I was eating and trying to drink as much water as possible because on vacation I don't tend to drink that much water. I tend to drink more caffeine if anything. So I'm trying to stay away from caffeine and just drink as much water. So I think that's why I kind of got into the whole, I want to paint water glass. And I wasn't really thinking in particular for anybody or it was just to see if I could, just because I wasn't sure if paint could even stick to a hydroplast. And then I was thinking maybe later it'll chip off. So I just wanted to see how this one would work out. In case anyone decides to paint a hydro flask, Here's some tips. So I noticed some people did take off the finish or the seal on the hydro flask. I didn't. I honestly just sketched it with pencil. I was too lazy to do that or find the chemicals to take that off. And so once I was done sketching that out, then I would go over it with the black Posca pens. I did the fine ones, but I did have a difficult time just because I had trouble with the ink. I don't know, maybe because I needed a new pen. Although I did have three different kinds, but I've been using them a lot. That could be it. But if that didn't work, I used Sharpie. And as soon as I was done going over it, then I would go over it with between Posca pens and acrylic painting. Now let's talk about the most important part and this is to seal your painting because I've been asked this a couple times on Instagram. I use two different kinds. I use the two varnishes. I use the spray can one and then I use the liquid one. I use gloss. I don't think it matters the brand but these are the brands that I used and I first use the liquid and then I use the spray can but I put like extra extra seal or finish on it just because I don't want it to chip and I want it to last longer so for your painting to last just adds a little bit of extra I think it'll be very very helpful so the first one I actually gave away and then I forgot I had an extra hydro flask for myself, so I decided to do this for me and for me to keep. And I was really excited because I've actually been wanting to do like a cute cartoony um, kind of painting. And I chose between Totoro and I chose Kiki. And it felt so great. I don't know why. I felt so happy just painting this on my flask because it reminded me so much of my childhood honestly i remember my parents buying me so many movies for me to watch and totoro and kiki were the main two that i kept watching over and over as a child and honestly my childhood was my childhood was like the most happiest times of my life I mean, I'm still am too, like now I am, like I enjoy life, but it's so different when you're like so naive and so innocent when you're little. So this brought back so many memories and so much love and so much warmth and happiness. So what better way than to paint this on my hydro boss 
for me and also I feel like in some ways it just reflects my personality now. Sorry, I actually forgot to mention, for those of you who don't know, I met Kiki's delivery service. That's the whole title. So this flower actually ended up changing when I varnished it. It had this bright orange color that you can see here, or maybe you can't, I don't know, maybe it's just me because I have the artist eye, but it vanishes later on, so just FYI in case you're wondering what happened to that bright orange, or in case you're not. out my hydroplast but that's the end of my video and i'll see you guys next